Good morning from Hamburg, Germany. It is just after 5 a.m. and we were hoping for the sunrise, but alas, it's cloudy. And that is part of the real world, the behind the scenes of freelance photography and videography. And I'm taking you once again on another job. I'm lucky to be back with Tourismus Zukunft, which is now known as Realizing Progress, which is very interesting. I'll talk a little bit more about that in this video. And uh, yeah, we're on assignment, getting paid to take some photos, make some videos, and it all starts right now. Let's go. Not too much time to vlog this morning because as you can tell I am the uh, only photographer with about I think there's like nine of uh, the group here so Realizing Progress is a group of tourism consultants here in uh, Germany and in Switzerland and Austria and uh, they've been hiring me as a photographer for a few years now at least uh, two or three times a year I actually made a video with them in Berlin uh, during lockdown if you guys remember that for those who watch the channel often so yeah, they've asked me to uh, come out and help them again and luckily for me they came to Hamburg which makes my life a lot easier now that we have the little baby Matteo so uh, I'm not I don't have to leave Nelly for too long which is nice but uh, yeah it's a challenge when you're the only photographer with nine subjects at five in the morning but the whole group of them I think there's 12 in total and I'll be shooting with them all day today and tomorrow and uh, taking you with me to give you a bit more information about what's happening. But uh, so far, we've already got a couple of good photos. And what you need to do in this situation is get creative. If the light is not happening, you have to find different motives and speak with the clients uh, to see what it is that they're looking for. And that's what we've done this morning. We tried to get a couple of nice shots. Inside the hotel for breakfast. This is where the crew is staying in the Hafen city of Hamburg. It's called the 25 hour hotel. I think it's actually a really quite beautiful hotel. And uh, I've set up to take this one hour to uh, organize the photos. So I brought my laptop, I've got the hard drive and I'm trying to get on top of my own process so that I can create some sort of fast turnaround because I know that the Realizing Progress team really likes to see the images that uh, we're kind of creating, you know, within the day or a day of. So I'm trying to use the time that I have to just organize what I've shot and, uh, and get an idea of, you know, what we've already covered and what we still need to get because there is a shot list and a motive I've got it here somewhere it's probably in my bag but I've got an actual shot list that I can share with you later and uh, the idea is that I just get them into Lightroom you know get a catalog set up and then start starring some of the best photos so I'm rating them like two stars or three stars or whatever so that when I do go back to do the edits uh, I can just filter those rated photos and it makes my life so much easier and that's what we're doing right now
All right, you guys will probably recognize this. This is my shot list from the client. So as we mentioned in previous videos, when I'm doing freelance photography work, I really like to have as much detail as possible. So I've got uh, two full pieces of paper here of the expectations or wishes of the Realizing Progress uh, consultant group here in Germany. And essentially these are the photos that they're hoping to get while we've got time together over the next couple of days. So my idea is to uh, get this email to me when we're doing the communication and like the whole agreement stage of what they're expecting and how much I'm going to charge for those photos uh, and video in this case. But these guys uh, have a very detailed idea of what they want. So they send it to me, I print it out, and then I can literally check off the things that we're capturing as we go um, and even schedule the shoots as well to just streamline this process. That's my number one tip really for freelance photography is the more organized you are, the easier it is. Which seems kind of self-explanatory, but you'd be surprised. I've I've definitely learned the hard way. and we have had a ton of still images in this video. It's now like kind of the middle of the afternoon and regretfully I haven't got as much video footage as I wanted to for this vlog, but it is primarily a photography assignment anyway. So I hope that you have got a nice insight into the style and the theme of the motives that we're trying to capture here. And uh, it's all about teamwork. It's all about like group work and co-living and like being part of a community of professionals that are working together as consultants to try and like uh, meet their own clients needs and have like realizing progress in the future of tourism here in Germany and Switzerland and Austria. So that's what these guys are all about and they are doing incredible work really. It's been a pleasure to work with them for a number of years and if you've been watching the channel for a long time then you know that I've done uh, many projects with Tourism Zukunft which they used to be called now realizing progress. So that's pretty cool and a good insight once again into uh, real paid work. You know I get a day rate for today and tomorrow uh, and and it's uh, you know a couple days of really hard work in on location and then another couple days of editing and you guys are photographers so I know you know how much goes into post processing so I've still got a ton of work ahead of me but I was uh, happy to be able to bring you along once again and share with you a, another behind the scenes on real world freelance photography and uh, yeah doing this for a living trying to at least it's a hustle as you know but uh, making it work somehow so as always thank you so much for watching I'll see you on the next video Thank you.